All right, the challenge is in front of you. Do you accept it? I hope so. Keep the game on. Play the challenge. It's solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team. So the Marshals offense, first down as they get ready. Now Newton on first down. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Cam try to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton side by Benjamin and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue maybe a little sign of life here offensively Charles they get their first first down they didn't have any in quarter number one and I think what we're seeing is great evidence of good scouting by both teams right understanding what they like to do their best players try to take those away early so now we're seeing some adjustments and they get enough getting the first first down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, unfortunately, not the result that you were looking for, but the great thing about how this works is... And now the offense getting set, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out! Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. On second down, here's Newton. That catch good for five. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Third and long, it's Newton. Over the middle complete, it's Bird. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there, 59 yards. Well, unfortunately, unable to achieve the results you're looking for, but there's always next. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Now a first down throw for Newton. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And Stewart lost the football. It's loose. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Here's Newton now on second down. And he loses the football a second time. And this is picked up by the defense. And near touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. Not the results you wanted, but the good news, practice makes perfect. We'll see you again right here on the Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. So the Marshals offense, first down as they get ready. Newton on first down. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. And on second and ten now. Throwing again. Newton. They find some open field here. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. That's going to set him back five yards. 
Here we go on first and 15. And this will be scooped up by the defense. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. And for how much Cam handles the football, he really doesn't fumble a whole lot, but coughed it up there. And I know that a lot of people seeing that play, they immediately go back to the Super Bowl against Denver and Von Miller knocking it free from Cam. But I think you're exactly right. One of the underrated aspects of his game is fundamentally sound when he carries the football. Whether he's in the pocket or actually running it, he usually does a great job of taking care of it. And he'll have to shake that one off. When we talk about Luke Keekley. You can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Giovanni Bernard in the final seconds of the first half. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Well, we're going to let you off a little easy there, LR. Halftime interrupted, and we are ready to get to this third quarter. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. Now a hit and a loose football. Down the numbers. There he goes. And this results in six. Touchdown. Jameis Olawale taking it in. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. That good for 19 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected. But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. When we did DeMarcus Ware's games in Dallas, didn't we spend most of the time talking about him rushing the pass? We did, and how about now? Oh, boy, he's expanded his game in a big way. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. 
Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing on third down, Newton. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he lost the football. It's going the other way. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. They make so many catches that are so tough, so acrobatic, so difficult, that often surprises me when they actually turn the ball over. You know, when the ball actually comes free. It's amazing sometimes because of what we see them do on so many different plays. Had the catch, but couldn't control it on the contact. Mr. Davis, you're a football lifer, my friend. You've called games at the highest level. You know head coaches inside and out. Please explain that one to me. Uh, <laughs> speechless. They run here with Stewart. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. And Calvin Benjamin's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first down, it's Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. A gain of six there on first. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Newton now to throw. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? Because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. Yeah, sure consistent. The numbers the last couple years almost identical and both over 1,000-yard seasons. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh set of downs. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the linebacker, DeMarcus Ware. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. And what is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And now back out comes the offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. 
So it's our visitors with a football as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From his goal line here, Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Newton on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bird. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. On first down, Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Wake able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. To throw on second down is Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Throwing on third and long. Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked by the Hall of Famer, Mel Blunt. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. Just something to build. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Wake in there yet again. My goodness, make it five sacks for him now in this one game alone. Throwing is Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. First and ten, Newton. He's going to let it fly. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And that does it for this Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. You did it. You defeated it. Congratulations. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.